quality I value in others is really the desire to do good, um, to use your talents or your time or your wealth to relieve suffering or um, to make the world a better place in some way. I just really admire people who, um, who do that as, as sort of their life's purpose, um, not as a, a tangential activity. Nursing really is an extension of mothering for me, and mothering is sort of my highest calling. And school nursing especially feels really like being a professional mother often, um, loving the children and sort of helping people keep their dignity in, in what can be undignified situations when you're sick. And um, so it feels... You know, I love the giving, but I also am fed myself by the giving, and um, and so it's a it's a great fit for me. We are doing Daphne and I are working on identity boxes with a seventh grade elective I'm teaching called Pop Culture and Public Health, and the children basically try to express their identity through these collage boxes. Um, and they're very beautiful, and we get to spend the afternoon in in Daphne's art studio. So. It's a huge, uh, it's a huge treat to, to try out her role. Well, in the city I love to go see art, and in the country I love to work in my garden. Um, and I think those are both ways of marveling, um, marveling at the world. And so that's what I like to do. I had some wonderful teachers at the University of Virginia, history teachers. Um, Southern history was my, was my area of, of focus, civil rights movement. Um, Julian Bond was one of my teachers, um, a, a brilliant man who um, had a role in the civil rights movement. So I guess, again, it's people who sort of teach by their own example that, that moved me the most. Um, well, with my history background, I, um, I do like to think about our connectedness through time and place to other cultures and other peoples, and I think the, the kind of event that sort of inspires me the most are when people are reconciled or when there's sort of hopeful progress. So maybe the fall of apartheid would be a historical example of of the things I like to study and think about. I love to read poetry. Uh, my favorite poet is Gerard Manley Hopkins. Um, my favorite poem when I was a little girl is one that's apt for this season, actually, um, Spring and Fall to a Young Child. A lot of people know it by the first line, Margaret, are you grieving over Golden Grove and leaving? And um, I would say the whole poem, but it would make me cry. <laughs> but that's my favorite poet. curious and nurturing and celebratory.